Uh, this is Alexin. My name is John Collins. I'm the Vice President of Business Development and Marketing for the company. Um, Alexin is an organization that's based on sort of solving the problem of mobile computing by creating full-size interfaces or simplifying the interfaces of most mobile devices. Uh, we do this with our core technology called Electex. It's the world's first and only touch-sensitive textile. So this is Electex. There are no wires, there are no buttons. It's completely interactive. It knows where you touch it, it knows how hard you touch it, and it can be programmed up like any touchscreen application. So we take this technology and we embed it in soft goods. So we make interactive soft goods. So bags, purses, jackets, a whole range of different technology or different products, soft good products, can be made interactive. And how that helps mobility is it, uh, it allows you to make the devices that you're, the things you're carrying every day support your mobile device. So if you have a Blackberry and you think the keyboard is too small, now you can get a full-size laptop interface that you can shove in your pocket. And it's very, very lightweight. It complements the mobility of the device. Keyboards get dirty. What happens when this gets dirty? Um, well, of course, the, the finishes on fabric can be wiped clean very easily. They're much more durable than a mechanical keyboard. So we test the 10 million key presses. We make sure that if you spill a soda on it, you can wipe it clean. Um, the kinds of things that would destroy a, a mechanical keyboard sort of don't destroy this. So um, depending upon the finish, this is a, a much more slick sort of sheen finish, but it still has the same technology at the core of it. Um, which is the fabric touchpad. As you look down the, the table, you'll see a couple of different sort of solutions. Uh, one of them is a pouch for uh, ultra-mobile PCs and tablet computing. So it's a, carry, it's a carry pack for the device, but when you connect it up via USB, it becomes your keyboard. So, in fact, it doesn't add any weight to your pack because it's doing what you'd expect it to do. You'd buy a carry, pad, carry bag for it anyway, and now it becomes interactive. And at the far end is what's, uh, what we call the smartphone keyboard. And so that rolls up and fits into your pocket. It works with Bluetooth, and it supports any smartphone. So you can do email on the move. Uh, the batteries last uh, more than a week. So the road warrior who needs sort of constant access to uh, the net using a smartphone platform can find that very, very useful. So that has batteries because it, has, it needs to power Bluetooth. Exactly right. The batteries power the Bluetooth module. Whereas this is just a sort of mini USB. Yeah, so this is, a, the, what is interesting about this technology, this, uh, this is a demonstrator. This is USB connected. So, of course, uh, it's very low power. Um, and what you see on one side is you see a QWERTY keyboard. But what makes it very interesting is the, our sensor, Electex, <laughs> can be addressed on both sides. So if I flip it, what I've done now is I have a gravity switch in here, which knows now that I'm on the reverse side of the sensor, and I can use it to launch applications. So now I have an application pad, which could mean, which could make navigating through a mobile device much easier, because I don't have to sort of scroll and find my application. I can pop up particular screens, that kind of thing. Um, Are you using different keyboards here? Explain that. Is that different? Do you have different... Yeah, we, it's very, it's, uh, because our technology is a touch screen, it's very easy to change the programming for it. And then we just, we just screen print a new key location pad on the, the fabrics that we're working with. This is the same technology. Now it's encapsulated so that it's waterproof, and it has these wings. And these wings mean that you can sew it into a garment or into a bag. So it'll, it enables wearable computing, interactive apparel applications. So um, we take the sensor and what we call the umbilical, and we sew that into a garment or a bag. And we attach control electronics to it. So these control electronics you see here are attached to an iPod in the box. And uh, if I press down on this button, I unlock it, I turn on the iPod, and I can control the, uh, the volume or the track on this. Now, why that's important is that when you look at a device like an iPod or your, your smartphone, you, you're really using 90% of the time only 10% of the function. So we're simplifying the use of these mobile devices by teasing out sort of the most basic functions that you need. And we put them in places that sort of complement your lifestyle. So the things that you wear every day, that you carry every day. So this is a jacket from uh, Toller in Germany uh, from their protective line that has a Bluetooth um, controller. So your, your phone is, is paired with your jacket. So if your phone rings, you can answer it from the sleeve. It also can control your iPod at the same time. Um, this is another product we made with, uh, um, our, with uh, O'Neill, which has uh, controls on the strap of a backpack. Um, so you can see... And these are the things you can also dry clean? You can dry clean them, you can wash them, um, and it's becoming more and more prevalent. So it's in, in out, outdoor garments, uh, it's in suits now, in T-shirts. 
Uh, very soon we'll be announcing sort of it in trousers. So um, lots and lots of customers are beginning to see the value of building a mobile sort of uh, infrastructure for supporting mobile devices using apparel. Is it expensive? Um, no, it's not expensive. It, re it adds a little bit onto the price of a garment, uh, but it doesn't sort of really change the, the price structure of the, the whole garment. Uh, and for journalists, I mean, the, the, these, uh, these key paddles are very interesting. Can you give me some idea of uh, what they're retailing for? Yeah, the, the, um, this uh, smartphone product, uh, this, this one here that rolls up and fits into your pocket, is, uh, is available in a, a, around the $99 to $129 range. It depends on who the retailer is. Um, and the market. Um, the other ones are reference designs, so we mostly sell to manufacturers and they adapt these to their own products. But I would imagine this fits in the, the $49 range. It all depends on the materials you, materials you use. You know, if Prada makes this, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than if we make it ourselves. So uh, it's really where fashion and technology really comes together, moving sort of fashion and interactivity into the same space. If people have some more information, which website do they go to? Um, they can come to the electex.com. It's uh, E-L-E-K-T-E-X.com. That shows all of our consumer products, all of our customers that are using this. Or they can come to alexen.com, E-L-E-K-S-E-N.com. That's more of a business-to-business -business site talking about how you can use the sensor, how you can develop for it, and, and how you can buy sensors, raw sensors. Okay. And where are you based? We're based in uh, Pinewood Studios, just outside of London, so the birthplace of James Bond. We think it's a fitting uh, place to be for this kind of uh, cutting-edge technology.